Number 14. Death of Venezuelan Child Large centipede species are not only terrifying in appearance, but they also own a venomous bite that can kill human beings. When it comes to Scolopendra gigantea, the Amazonian giant centipede, there's at least one fatality on record. In 2014, it was reported that a bite from this predatory arthropod claimed the life of a four-year-old child. The attack took place in Venezuela, and the toddler was bitten by a centipede that had crawled into an open soda can. The venom spread rapidly, and the toxic cocktail wrought havoc on the child's body, fatally disrupting multiple biological processes. Number 13. Amazonian Giant Centipede Like its other relatives in the Scolopendra genus, the Amazonian Giant Centipede injects potent venom through modified legs on its first body segment. The toxins simultaneously affect the victim's cardiovascular, respiratory, muscular, and nervous system. A unique peptide acts as sort of traffic cop, blocking the flow of ions through potassium channels that exist throughout the body. Without receiving proper signals from the nervous system, important muscles, like those in the heart, cease to function properly. Even if the bite doesn't kill its victim, the pain is intense and long-lasting. Moreover, the Amazonian giant centipede is a deft hunter with a rather unique set of skills. Specimens have been observed climbing onto ceilings in caves to hunt bat species, which often outweigh them. With only a few legs clinging to the ceiling, they'll use their bodies to catch and manipulate prey. Number 12. Bullet Ant Gloves For the Sataria Mawe, an indigenous tribe in the Brazilian Amazon, the rite of passage to manhood is a brutally painful process. Before a boy can become a man, he has to wear gloves with bullet ants embedded in them. These insects have often been described as owning the most painful sting in the animal kingdom. After they are given a natural sedative, numerous ants are woven into gloves made from leaves. With their stingers pointing inward, as the bullet ants start waking up, the boy must put on the gloves and hold them on for five minutes. The ant venom will bring about localized paralysis, excruciating pain and uncontrollable shaking that can last for days. To complete the initiation, a boy has to go through this ritual 20 more times over the course of months or even years. Number 11. Bullet Ant Found in lowland forests from Nicaragua to Paraguay, bullet ants are the only creatures to have been awarded a 4.0 plus on the Schmidt Sting Pain Index. The sensation associated with the Paraponera clavata sting reportedly feels like the victim's been shot, which is where the ants get their common name from. A neurotoxic peptide in their venom blocks the transmission of certain signals in the nervous system. Waves of overwhelming, throbbing pain can last unabated for 24 hours or more. Number 10. Attack on Guyanese Child Attacks by jaguars and humans are rare since, when it comes to larger prey, these felines prefer capybara and the giant anteater. That being said, when a jaguar does actively hunt a human, the results are almost always devastating. Such was the case of an unnamed three-year-old girl from the remote Aisaneru village in Guyana. The child was with her mother, who was washing clothes on a riverbank. The adult jaguar pounced, clamped its ferocious jaws on her head, then dragged her 60 feet towards the deeper jungle. The girl screamed in agony, alerting her mother and other villagers who managed to shoot the feline. The victim was airlifted to a hospital in critical condition. She survived and recovered, even though she'd sustained horrific injuries. These included a laceration across her forehead, so large and deep that it exposed her brain. Number 9. Jaguar It's been argued that sheer size is the only aspect preventing the jaguar from being the most dominant feline in the planet. While only the third largest of the big cats, the jaguar reigns supreme in terms of pound per pound power. These creatures are not only outstanding climbers, but they can drag carcasses as large as heifers up trees. They can also carry large prey while swimming. The secret to these feats of strength has to do with the feline's muscular body, but also the anatomy of its jaws. At the Carnassial Notch, an optimal point of leverage, the Jaguar can deliver 1,556 pounds of force. Its skull is very robust, with prominent jaw anchoring muscles on the sides of its muzzle. 
the jaguar may kill via a suffocating bite to its victim's throat, but also by biting through the temporal bones of their skull, thus plunging its sharp canines into the victim's brain. Razor-sharp claws can tear through flesh to simultaneously maul and control struggling prey. The apex predator's relentless teeth and claws are supplemented by body camouflage and the ability to stealthily ambush its victims by leaping from trees. Number 8. Mateus Pereira de Ararujo In 2007, Mateus Pereira de Ararujo was attacked by a green anaconda in his native country of Brazil. At the time, the eight-year-old and other children were playing near a creek on his family's farm. A green anaconda slithered onto the premises and targeted Mateus as he was swimming. It bit into the child's chest and started coiling around his body. The others witnessed the incident and started screaming for help. Fortunately, Mateus' grandfather heard their cries and rushed to the creek. It would take him over an hour to wrestle the muscular serpent off of his grandson. Mateus survived but did sustain strained muscles and required 21 stitches to mend the snake bites on his chest. Number 7. Green Anaconda Green anacondas are the largest snakes on the planet and one of the Amazon's most dominant predators. Even though reticulated pythons tend to be longer, green anacondas are recognized as the heaviest extant serpents. Unlike other deadly reptiles, anacondas aren't venomous. They constrict the snakes, meaning that they subdue prey animals by wrapping their powerful bodies around them. Trying to escape the grip of the anaconda has been compared to swimming in quicksand. The harder the victims struggle, the deeper the anaconda can sink its squeeze. For a long time, it was believed that constriction kills prey animals as a result of them suffering from broken bones and suffocation. While other injuries may occur, death is usually a consequence of an overwhelmed circulatory system. Constriction prevents blood from reaching the brain, and animals succumb to ischemia. Since green anacondas will typically constrict prey in water, drowning is also a likely outcome. After killing its victim, the anaconda will swallow it whole. Due to unfused mandible ligaments, mobile jaw joints, and stretchy skin, the snake can change its shape to stomach large animals. Number 6. Adrilla Muniz In February of 2015, Adrilla Muniz was on a boat alongside her grandmother and four other children. At some point in their day out, a storm struck and the boat capsized. The elderly woman managed to retrieve the children except six-year-old Adrilla, who was swept away by the currents. Her body was later found by the locals and most of the flesh on her legs had been stripped away in a piranha attack. It's still unclear if the child was still alive or if she drowned before the fish started tearing into her. Number 5. Red-Bellied Piranha While the deadliness of piranhas tends to be exaggerated, the reality of their viciousness doesn't lag too far behind. Red-Bellied Piranhas are among the largest and most notorious fish of their kind. Despite their ferocious reputation, they travel in shoals mainly as a form of defense from predators and are primarily scavengers. However, large groups are known to enter into feeding frenzies and devour large animals within minutes. They have finely serrated teeth and jaws that generate one of the strongest bites found in bony fishes. These physical adaptations make piranhas frighteningly skillful at tearing off flesh. Number 4. Matthew Stevens A recent incident tied a Brazilian wandering spider to the death of two children in São Sebastião, Brazil. Numerous bites from the dangerous arachnid occur in the Amazon region every year, a few with severe complications. Thankfully, the development of antivenom has greatly reduced Brazilian wandering spider fatalities. That being said, cases of envenomation have also been reported in regions thousands of miles from its homeland. That's because the arachnid is known to hide inside South American banana shipments, which is why it's often referred to as the banana spider. In 2005, for example, Englishman Matthew Stevens was bitten by a Brazilian wandering spider that had made its way to the country as a stowaway. Stevens needed more than a week to recover from the bite he claimed felt like a rose thorn had been plunged into his skin. One of the major dangers of the arachnid making its way to other countries is that hospitals won't have the specific antivenom to treat any bites that may occur. Number 3. Brazilian Wandering Spider Brazilian wandering spiders are not only the deadliest arachnids in the Amazon, 
but they're also often described as the most venomous spiders on earth. They're recognizable by a defensive posture that involves raising their front legs high. Their common name is derived from their tendency to wander and hunt for prey on the jungle floor rather than build webs. It's this wandering nature that makes them so dangerous, particularly in densely populated areas. That's because they can hide in houses, clothing, cars, boxes, or wood piles. Severe cases of envenomation will initially result in severe burning pain and may progress to loss of muscle control, paralysis, and death by asphyxiation. Today's topic was requested by Michael Chandler. If you have any other topics you'd like to learn about, subscribe and let us know in the comments section below. Number 2. Daisy Nishimura In 2009, Daisy Nishimura was working as a biologist at a nature reserve deep within the Amazonian jungle. On December the 30th of that year, Nishimura was cleaning fish on the deck of the floating house she lived at. As she was throwing fish scales back into the water, a black caiman lunged at her and dragged her to the bottom of the river. The massive reptile started its death roll while clamped on Nishimura's leg. The 25-year-old woman escaped by plunging her fingers in the animal's nose. She swam towards the boathouse but soon realized her leg had been separated from her body. Nashimura was rushed to a clinic via boat and recovered but would subsequently have to adjust to life as an amputee. Join the They Will Kill You team by rocking the latest merch from theywillkillyou.com. Order yours today to be one of the first to spread the word. Number 1. Black Cayman The Black Cayman is simply put the largest predator in the Amazonian ecosystem. This beast actually has its own ecological niche as it can kill any animal in its range and feeds without significant competition. The massive crocodilian is actually part of the alligator family and it can grow to be up to 20 feet long and 1,100 pounds heavy. Since crocodilians are known to actively pursue humans as prey, the black caiman is a mortal danger for anyone unlucky enough to be caught in its jaws. Thanks for watching. Would you rather try to survive a pouncing jaguar or a green anaconda's conscripting grip? Let us know in the comments section below.